how does it feel to be the woman who started this whole craze? It's really hard to even think that. I don't feel like I could have started all of this. It's just too crazy. You did. Well, <laughs> at the very inception of it, I suppose. But, you know, Kristen and Rob and all the directors who've been involved really did a lot to make it this kind of a frenzy. Yeah. But to have put those words down on the paper, that must be a good feeling to realize that you created something that is such a phenomenon. It has its moments. It, the best part, though, is the quiet part where you're actually creating it. You know, all the rest of it's sort of this outside of you thing, but writing the words down is the most fun. How does it feel to know that that is coming to an end? You know, I haven't really gotten sad yet. I think because it won't be over until we get through the premiere and that's probably when it'll hit me. Because right now there's still so much to do and, <laughs> and it's been fun, like seeing everybody again. And uh, I miss a lot of the people from these movies. We spent a lot of time together and yeah. it's nice to be back again. So right are now you, I'm just enjoying it. Are you there when they're filming the whole movie? Or are you there um, for the I whole was thing? On, on Breaking Dawn, I was there for the whole 101 day shoot. How would you say that it, this phenomenon has changed your life? Well, um, this part of it, the movies, in some way have made my life easier. There was a point uh, where uh, I was kind of the focus of some of it and it was really uncomfortable. And then the movies came out and all of the attention shifted to Robin, Chris, and Taylor. It was like, yes, I feel really bad though. They've had so much, like, you know, press in, you know, in, in difficult situations. It's just been a lot of people staring at them for a long time, and I'm really grateful that's not me. <laughs> yeah. Do you ever think about that? Of going, like, you know, they were incredible actors that brought your words to life, but think, like, oh my gosh, how I, I have changed their lives. Well, the negative parts, absolutely. You know, really guilty. I'm easily prone to guilt. I'm a mom. And so, uh, it, it, the negative things that have come out of this, I do feel bad about for them. And then the positive things, I feel like they really have brought on themselves through what they've done. And, yeah. I'm excited for all the things that they're going to do in the future. Is there a possibility that there could be another one? I mean, everybody's saying that you're kind of leaving the crack in the door a little bit open. Well, I definitely have to crack there. I, you know, I know the story. Do you know how many people are cheering right now? <laughs> <laughs> well, that doesn't mean the door's open. <laughs> <laughs> Just a crack. You know, I've, I've, I know the stories. I know where it goes. Um, I'm not, at this point in my life, ready to spend more time with vampires. There's a lot of other things that I want to do. And so it's... Someday, maybe. Uh -huh. It might just be like right before I kick it, I'll tell everyone what happens. Just so I won't have it die with me, or at least write it down for somebody. <laughs> Everybody is so curious because they've loved the Twilight series so much. What are, what are you going to be doing next? Well, um, next, next will be The Host. My other novel is going to be coming out in March, the, the movie. Um, we've been working on that hard for the last year, and I'm very excited about it. So that's kind of my next, my next thing. What's it about? The Host is about aliens. Oh, totally different direction. Vampires to aliens. I like right. it. Well, I grew up on sci-fi, so in my heart, I'm a sci-fi girl. <laughs> yeah. Are they gonna have a nice love affair, as there's good as a, Bella and? If Edward? I write a story, there's pretty much guaranteed they'll be loving it. I. That's just who I am. I can't apologize for it. I'm a romantic. <laughs>